Salute to Knicks Nation, CP from Knicks Fan TV here, just to let you guys know that Reggie Bullock and the Knicks have officially signed off on a two-year deal worth approximately $8 million. Now, as we recall, Bullock and the Knicks had originally agreed to a two-year deal worth $21 million, but it was then revealed that Bullock had a medical issue that caused the two sides to renegotiate the deal. Now, apparently Bullock is dealing with a plantar fasciitis issue that hampered him for most of last year. But now the two sides have reworked the deal and Bullock's agent David Bowman has gone on the record as saying that the Knicks were fantastic through the process. So take that for what you will, but it's always good to hear the Knicks receiving some positivity rather than the negative publicity that surrounded them during the free agency period. Now, what's also interesting to note about the contract is that he signed for less than the $4.7 million room exception that the Knicks still had available to them. So now this gives the Knicks a little bit more cap space should they want to convert one of their two-way contracts or sign another upstart player out of training camp to a more lucrative deal. And one thing to also remember is that by reworking Bullock's deal, the Knicks were able to sign Marcus Morris and his contract became official today as well. Now, from a roster standpoint, I like the signing in that it gives us a bit more depth at the two. We need three-point shooting in the worst way, and Bullock's best season came when he averaged more than 11 points per game while shooting 44% from three, 4.5 attempts per game, and 49% from the field, all with a usage rate of 15.5%. Now that was during 2017-18, two years ago, so we're going to need that type of production from Bullock should he crack the rotation. Now what's also interesting to note is that, according to Ian Begley, Bullock will not be ready for at least one month into the season. So clearly that will give guys like Alonzo Trier, Damian Dotson, and even Wayne Ellington some more minutes at the shooting guard position. And it'll be interesting to see how Fisdale manages the rotations and if Bullock can end up cracking the rotation later on this season. And speaking of Damian Dotson, yesterday his $1.61 million salary was guaranteed by the Knicks. So for the time being, it looks like a whole team Dot will be returning for his third campaign with the orange and blue. So let me know what you think about the Bullock signing, the Mara signing, and Dotson coming back for another year. How do you see David Fisdale managing this rotation of depth? Leave me a comment. Of course, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. Subscribe to the channel. And please, please share these videos with your fellow Knicks fan. Talk to you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace. Yeah, yeah, our team got tougher. Our team got more competitive. Uh, we we uh, got some new guys, got some good, some good pieces. So I'm, I'm looking forward to them. I, I think you guys can make the playoffs. I think you guys will make a good run for you know a seed maybe. Yeah, hopefully, man, we just got to win some games. Shout out Knicks fans TV. Damian Dotson here. Go Knicks. Perfect. Bro.